Well, hello everyone, and here she is, all finished. I got her right now just for this video in uh, kind of coming down for a landing mode and the windscreen off so we can see inside. She came out good. See if I can get a little light on the subject. There we go. Very nice kit. Definitely wanted one of these for a long time. Spin. See the back half. The engines came out really nice once we get those up and glowing here in a moment. What a great ship. I wanted one of these for a while. And now I actually have a 3D printed file too. There's our inside of our cockpit area. You can see Lord Vader back there. Got two pilots. We cut that door open so we can see Vader back there. You can see some of the detail panels I painted back there. There's the sconces. We'll focus here. Sconces back there. I did them in a white with a black striping. And I just wanted to show it with the landing gear and the open hatches. So I have the option of doing uh, either or. And then the closed ones are, are magnetized so they won't fall. And the ramp does come down, and you can see Vader up in there. Again, sorry about the focusing. Still want to focus on Vader up there. There he is. Let's uh, turn this guy on. Okay, there she is with the lights on. I mean, there's not a lot of lights on this. Again, we had the wing ends go bad because I reversed the polarity when I was one night at the end of the night plugging into or uh, just to have it run for a little bit. And I did it in the dark and reversed the polarities and that made me lose that flashboard. So like I said, at least if it, when it does that, it, it only outputs one side and at least that it did, it did the lights down there below, the two white lights. And there you can see the sconces even from uh, down here, looking up in the ramp. Darth Vader is a little dark. I don't know if I can get him to come in with the camera. On. Yeah, that was nice to do. Where you can see him besides just in here, you can actually see him from up in here now too. Let's turn this camera light off. Some of the buttons better. We'll, we'll shut the main light off here in a second. Maybe we should do that now so we can see some of the lighting. I don't want it too dark because then my camera flips out. It has a uh, trouble focusing. So there's our lights and you can see how it's a little bright on this side especially with the camera because you're getting the lens flare and everything. side lights up pretty good as well. Like I said, I'm sorry for the focus. It's just 
in the dark, this camera has an issue with focusing. And we do have some on the front dash as well. And then you can see that wonderful glow back there with the sconces. Focus. It's a little better. Now let's spin it around so we can see the engines. Like I said, I just glowed these through the plastic and it worked really nice. Stuck with the original base. I just got rid of the uh, flimsy plastic piece they had for it to go attached to the ship. Okay, and now we have her in flying mode. Brought the wings back down. The wings move still really nice right now. So I'm very happy with that. And got the windscreen back on. Here with the windscreen on. Yep, very nice ship. Very nice kit. Underneath again. Oh, I never closed Darth Vader. There we go, that will up raise and lower. And there's the base. Like I said, I stuck with the uh, the old base. Because believe it or not, she's pretty stable on that. I thought it would be a little wubby and maybe put that base, glue it on a piece of wood or something. No, you can't complain. Very nice model. If you can find one, definitely pick one up. Um, but they're also, if you have a 3D printer, um, they have some nice files for this ship as well. Some are even nicer because you have a more accurate interior. Like I said before, you have the four seats. And uh, the layout, I think, is a little more accurate. But I'm fine with what, what it's on there. But there she is. Um, until next build, I thank you for watching this series. Until next time, thanks for watching.